Welcome back for another week of Grace Kids Online. I'm so glad I can join you once again this morning as we dig into some stories in the Bible, these true stories about Jesus and his people and what they, what these stories have to tell us in living our lives today. And so the last couple few weeks, we've been talking about how God just is at work in people's lives, how we're listening for him, how he wants to be involved in our everyday life last week. It was an amazing story about how some jailers and his family came to Christ um, and how they came to believe in Jesus um, when Paul and Silas were in prison and just, just that amazing story of how God wants to use us. And so today we're going we're gonna to pick up and talk about two of Jesus' disciples, the people that followed him around and learned from him in his time on earth. And their names are Peter and John. And this is after Jesus died on the cross, rose again, and went back to heaven this is where we're at in the story. Peter and John are traveling around. They are ministering to people they are with. But on this particular day, they were going to the temple. And, and the temple was kind of like their church back then. And they, and they were going to a prayer meeting that was happening at the temple. And as they were going to the temple, they saw some men carrying a lame man whose feet and ankles didn't work. And they had not worked his entire life. Since birth, he could not walk. They saw them carrying him to the temple, to, to the gate called Beautiful, this certain gate at, at the temple gate where he would sit and he would ask for money because he wasn't able to work because his feet and ankles didn't work. And so he wasn't able to work and have money and to, to be able to have the things that everyone else seemed to have. And so they brought him there to sit him at this gate as he did every day to ask for money. And so he's sitting there and asking for money. Can you put your hands out like you're asking for something? Great. And so he's sitting there and Peter and John are walking by and they're about to enter and this man asked them for money. And so many times when people are asking for money like that, when they know they can't get it themselves, they don't really look at the person in the eye. They're kind of looking everywhere else or whatever. But Peter and John looked really intently at this guy. And they, told, and they said, look at us. And the man looked at them eager, like as if they were going to give him some money. He's like, okay. And so he looked at them expecting to get money. And Peter said to him, I don't have any silver or gold. I don't have any money for you, but I will give you what I do have. And he said to him, In the name of Jesus Christ of, of Na in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, get up and walk. So so they tell him, Look at us. They say, I don't have money for you, but in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, get up and and walk. And Peter grabs the man by the hand and he pulls him to his feet. And as he's pulling him to his feet, as he's standing up, these feet that have never worked in his life, his feet grew strong. His ankles grew strong. And that man was healed and he was able to stand up and walk around and jump and do all the things that he'd never been able to do in his entire life. And he started jumping around and praising God. And he went into the temple with Peter and John, celebrating all the way because he was so excited that he was ready. Can you jump up and down? Jump up and down. He was so excited to be able to walk and to move on his own and not need carried from one place to another. And he went into the temple with them. And all the people that were in there, all the people in the temple, they knew who this guy was. He sat by that gate probably every day. And asked for money. They knew that this was the beggar that sat outside the temple, the lame man that, who, whose feet didn't work. And they saw him up and walking around, and they were astounded. They were amazed. They were so surprised, and they knew what had happened. Because Jesus <laughs> came, and because of that, the Holy Spirit is with us. And through Jesus, Peter and John were able to heal this lame man. And just like Jesus can help and Peter and us as people that, that, that believe in Jesus, just as Jesus helped this situation and God helped this situation in healing this man, God wants to use us in people's lives as well. He, he wants to use us to be listening for the people that we come across that we can say, I may not have something for you, 
but I can share Jesus with you. And maybe it's just the information about Jesus and his love for you. And maybe it's something that Jesus wants you to do with this person that brings them healing. And that's an amazing thing in this story. We can help others just like Peter and John helped this man. And so some things to talk about, like if you, if you couldn't use your legs, if you couldn't use your feet or ankles, what would you miss doing the most? Talk about that with your parents or the other adults in your house. What would you miss the most if you couldn't use your feet or ankles and you couldn't walk? What would you miss the most? And what's something that you can do to show how happy you are that Jesus helps you? What's something that you can do to show how happy you are that Jesus helps you? Another, another, another thing you guys can do together is maybe you can pl- play what I call what says praise tag. You, you, you know tag, one person's the tagger and everyone else runs and that person tags you, okay? But in praise tag, wherever you got tagged, you use that part of your body to praise God. So if they tagged your arm, you can lift your arm and praise God. If they tagged your leg, you can shake your leg or jump up and down and praise God. And just different ways, <laughs> wherever you're tagged, to use to praise God in that moment. And maybe after you go to the store, if you're together at the store, maybe parents, other adults in the house, you, you, you can show the kids your change back or your receipt and talk about what if Peter and John had just given the man money and what he could have done, done with that money even though so much better things happened in that moment. And so just like Peter and John were used by God in this, God worked through them to help this beggar, this guy at the gate that was healed. What are some ways that God wants to use us in our lives? Are we open to hearing and listening for the people that that, that we come across? Because they didn't plan on meeting with this man. He was just someone they saw as they went about their day. And so how can we, how can God heal people and affect their lives through us? How can we partner with him and the things that he wants to do with people that we, we, that we run into on a daily basis? And just talk about that stuff. And just talk about that because God is with you and he wants to help you. And that help may come through other people. He may, he may want to help other people through you. And so today, my prayer for us is that we just remember that we have a God that helps us, and we have a God that wants us to help others with his love and the way that he has called us to. And so this week, as you're thinking about those things, don't forget, last week, we started a new memory verse in Acts 16, 31. It says, believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved. Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved. And not, and not just saved from the things that we do wrong and the sin in our life, not just saved from those things, but saved to a life of helping people just like Peter and John helped this man in this story. So I hope you have a wonderful week. I miss you, and I plan on and hope to see you all soon. Have a good week.